Hello there, Internet. Steve here again with another Unity Asset Store review. Technically two reviews today, I guess. Um, so this is going to be a bundle, um, and it's going to be looking at two different assets or two different packs that are bundled in the same bundle. So they are going to be the Factory Interior and Factory Props Volume 1, uh, again, this bundle, uh, by Cybernetic Walrus. Um, at the time of recording this, this asset retails for $69.99 USD, so, so essentially $70 um, in USD. Um, it supports all three rendering pipelines, built-in, URP, and HDRP, and I will be running this in built-in for the purpose of this particular um, review. So, let's go over the ratings. Uh, quality, I do think that the quality is there. Um, the fidelity is high. Um, there are some things that are overlooked that I'll, I'll get into more in the modularity and workability end of it. But um, as far as just like straight quality, I do think that the quality is is good for this. It's not a bad asset at all. It has some really, um, some really good, some, some <laughs> really good attention to detail. Um, and we'll, we'll go into more of that when we actually, you know, go through the um, demo scene, or not the demo scene, the uh, prefabs. Um, but um, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm i going to give it a pass. Just a reminder, I forgot to mention this, a reminder, I only do pass-fail. So uh, something in my eyes is either good enough or it is not. It either passes or it does not. So uh, I do think the quality passes. <clears throat> um, modularity and workability. So this, this, this one, I'm going to... Um, I'm torn because there are things that they did that are smart and that are modularly intelligent. Um, and then there are things that they did that I think are not smart. Um, so uh, as an example, in the uh, prefab scene, you'll see me talk about the, um, the uh, toolboxes. So <clears throat> the toolbox is in there with drawers with the drawers in them, um, it's it's weird how they have it set up. Uh, it's not intuitive to the point where you can just remove the drawers, but they do give you empty toolboxes with no drawers that you can put the drawers in yourself. Um, everything, well, most things are also single-faced. So um, you can use this to make an interior, but you cannot really use it for like, if you're going to make this sort of fact, if you're going to use this asset as a factory asset in a larger world that you're building, um, if it was just going to be like one building in that world, you can't do it. Um, the, all of the assets are single faced and there's no, there's no, there's just no exterior shell. So that's unfortunate. So I, I don't, I don't like that. Um, but then on the upside, I mean, so they have a bunch of wire, um, um, like, you know, cable management um, uh, brackets. I, I, the term is escaping me right now, but um, essentially that you like mount on the walls and the ceilings where you run all of your industrial cables through. Um, that, for example, was very intelligently modularized. Uh, they did a good job on that. Um, the conveyor belt system, in my opinion, they did a really good job on modularizing. So. A couple of things they did a good job of modularizing on, and then some of it, I would say more of it um, than not, they, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can even say more, more of it than not. I, 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 um, I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, because the stuff that they modularize well, they modularize really well. And the stuff that they didn't, they, they did not. So, um, I'll give it a pass because again, the stuff that they modularized, they did really well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Um, uh, support and serviceability. Um, they, they seem to respond. I didn't reach out to them. Um, uh, but they do seem to respond. I, I haven't seen complaints about like, oh, they don't respond with this, that, or the other thing. Um, and if there are those complaints, I, I just missed them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give them a pass on, on support and serviceability. Um, 
and you know they do updates to it as well um, so now we get down to the value <laughs> cost versus benefit um, I'm gonna give it a fail on this $70 is a lot of money for the small amount of stuff that you get in this and if you were to buy the two packs individually it, it, it would be more um, if you see this one on sale and you don't need exteriors then yeah it's a no-brainer but I do not think that the amount of um, the amount of like unique prefabs you get um, or the amount of like building that you can do with it supports the cost I just don't um, I think that it's probably worth uh, man I mean 70 bucks maybe 30 bucks you know um, like the fidelity on it is high the quality is high but you just do not get enough there enough prefabs to justify the cost um, there are other like you know factory assets that I have that I will I, I will review um, that are you know less than that just as high of quality and um, um, give you exteriors you know uh, give you more prefabs you know I, I just I, I I feel like the amount of stuff you get for this for the for the price is not is not on par so um, yeah the value I'm gonna fail it on um, I, I I can't recommend it for that for that price um, without more stuff now having said that um, you know cybernetic walrus uh, if you're listening if you see this review I think cybernetic walrus right yeah if you see this review if you're listening um, you know having an exterior having exterior options having them be you know double faced would go a long way to changing my opinion about that um, because then I can plug it into other assets but as it stands right now I have to use it alone and like the fidelity isn't high enough even on HDRP to do like archviz like industrial art you know uh, industrial architectural visualization with it um, but it's also you know high enough where it could be used in production for a game but then what the game's going to take place in that building it, it just it i wish that they had done a little bit more um on the on the you know usability end of it to make it usable with other assets or 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 something like that but um so yeah those are though that's that's my thoughts on the reviews of it um we're going to head over into the demo scene the demo scene is very small so it will be very short i think it's like a minute for a minute and 45 seconds long that I, the demo run through takes um and then we'll go through the prefabs after that so i will see everybody over in the demo scene shortly Alrighty, we are back in the demo scene. So this is going to be a small demo scene. Um, we're just going to run through the factory interior. Um, and when I turn around, you're going to see just how small the demo scene it actually is. Um, but um, we're going to do a quick run through of it. I'm going to point out a couple of things and then we'll go to the next stage. But yeah, that's it. It's a small demo scene. Um, so um we're just going to do a quick run around the periphery look at a couple of things and then we will um pop out but uh there is not a quote-unquote demo scene for the um for the interior it's just like an asset manifest scene so we're going to tackle that in the prefab section um instead of doing a huge, you know, instead of wasting your time with the demo, you know, with like a run through of the actual scene showcasing it. So that's literally it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to this particular demo scene, but that's kind of not the point, you know? So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I am going to hop out of here and then we will go um, into the prefabs. We'll start with the prefab scene or the, the prefabs for the 
interior. And then after that, we'll go to the prefabs for the props. So with that, I will see everybody over in the prefabs. All righty, everybody. And we are back. So um, we're going to do a quick shot through the interior um, prefabs. Uh, and then we'll go over to the other one. But um, so I'm just going to do a quick run through of these. Um, so this is like a... Um, uh, like like an air duct, obviously, as you can see, it is single faced, <laughs> so it is for aesthetics only. Um, that's how that's how a lot of the things in here are going to be, honestly. Um, so there's different size air ducts. You got your angles, your downward facing ones. Um, now we're into actual cross beams. So in the demo scene, those would be these beams up here. Um, so and these guys are going to be essentially these guys right here uh no these guys right here um and then oh, here we go so these guys these um cable railings are going to be uh, these guys these guys up here got a few different cable railings a few different sizes and lengths styles um your corners and your up and downward running ones which are important is this? this is a ceiling I have no idea what this is oh okay I see <laughs> okay so you have your actual ceiling pieces um, so in the demo scene those would be what is right above you um, so you've got ceilings with windows um, and then you've got actual doors You have your overhead doors, a few different overhead doors, uh, fire, um, uh, fire alarm pull stations, fire hoses. I do not believe if memory serves. Yeah, also single faced. Um, fire extinguishers. So you've got floors. Um, you have your, I don't even know what kind of holders those are supposed to be. If I'm being honest, it says holder prefab. I'm not, I'm actually not sure what those are supposed to be for. Um, maybe we'll try to identify those in the demo scene. So overhead lighting, um, which should have, yep, does have uh, lighting attached to it. Um, first aid kits, which also, yep, which also no interiors. So you have your piping, a few different piping solutions, different lengths and curvatures. Um, uh, so there's the curvatures. <laughs> um, let's see. So these are those center pillars. Um, what's what's so like? What's what's interesting is. The attention to detail on some of these prop pieces is really good, in my opinion. But, like, I do think they could have done a better job of modularizing things out. Um, this is an interior only. There is no real exterior solution here, which is unfortunate. So, you have a couple different wall links if you want to chunk it out. Um, again, these are all single-faced. Um, it's a little deceiving because in the demo scene, the walls are something called like walls merged or something like that. Like I'll go back to the demo scene in a minute and point that out, but it doesn't really showcase well how they produce the scene, which I like to see in these sorts of assets. I, 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 I view purchasing an asset from two different angles. Yes, I'm probably, I very well may use it at some point or another, but a lot of times it can also be a learning tool. So seeing how someone else does something is nice um, from just a self-education standpoint. And that uh, sort of takes that away, unfortunately. Um, but a couple different door sizes. This is more for the overhead doors. Um, these are gonna be the top wall portions. I'll point that out when we go back into the actual demo scene. Um, another overhead door there. And then these were those like separators that were all over the place um and then a crossbeam so let's head back into the demo scene real quick and i'll point out a couple of things um so if i click on the uh, I click on the wall here 
you'll see that it's, it's called walls merged and it's not it's not actually like they literally just merge them together so it's one piece so seeing how they created it is not going to if, if you want to use this as a learning tool you're not going to be able to do it with this particular demo scene unfortunately um uh and then uh what was the other thing we want to try to find the holders i don't i'm guessing well, those are wires um yeah i don't know what those holders are i, I don't see those in the demo scene if i'm being honest um so i I am not sure. I'm I'm not sure about that, but um, oh well. Uh, and what was the other? There's one more thing we wanted to look at. Um, we wanted to look at oh yeah, the walls. So it's hard to see in here, but you've got your bottom wall pieces and your top wall pieces. So these wall pieces are the top wall pieces up here, and then like these ones are going to be. Uh, these pieces here that are down here. So that's how they create that verticality with those is they just merge the two pieces together. Um, so those are the prefabs for the interior. Let's go to the actual prefabs for the props. I'm not going to go into the scene. It's just, I mean, I'll, I'll open it real quick, but it's not going to be like, that's just it. So let's look at the prefabs themselves and just go through that. So, um, few different actual boxes so for like a warehouse that's important right if memory serves i think these are also yeah, also single faced um so you've got conveyor belts uh that you can create full-blown conveyor systems with which is nice um lots of options for that um you have your angle pieces obviously so yeah i i think that that part alone is actually very intelligently done um you have your actual supports for conveyor belts that are higher up a few different options for those that's nice to see there's stuff put into that um a few different a uh, uh, few different variants of the toolboxes i do not believe i don't think yeah it's all also one piece unfortunately oh no it isn't well that's interesting well, i'm I'm not sure how to yank those out then. Um, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> um, so couple, 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 couple of different um, tool boxes. Well, here are your individual drawers. So I guess you could technically put them into here, slot them into there. I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure how they split. I don't see how they split these ones up. Um, Unless they just, nope. It's just, it's just a lot. I, I'm not sure how they, how they did that. But you have the options to put the drawers in yourself, so that's nice. Um, sh shorter ones, uh, uh, actual, you know, shorter store, um, um, tool chests, whatever they're called. I can't toolboxes. That's it. My God. Um, so you've got a couple of different variants for the forklifts, which is nice. So we'll hop in here and just take a look, see. Um, the fidelity is there. I do think that it's, um, you know, nice. Um, I am running this on built-in. Uh, it's probably worth mentioning um, at some point or another. Um, and the fidelity is definitely high for that. So uh, a couple of hand carts. Um, just variants of hand carts. You have your conveyor belt, actual machinery, um, pallets, you know, a few different pall to pallet types of so plastic and wooden pallets, uh, pallet jacks, um, the crated pallets, you know, plastic crates, and then saran wrap boxes. So, yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of props there. Um, so that's that. Those are the two the two assets that come in this pack. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I think that the quality of the assets by and large is good, but I do think that there are some oversights on how they did it, unfortunately, but, um, yeah. So anyways, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, I will see everybody in the next one.